Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about food. We are going to go through what I eat in a day. I don't eat the same thing every day because I'm like eating the same things. Number two, take this with a grain of salt. I know this, what I eat may not work for everybody, but this is what I do. But before we start, I am going to go over my numbers. So if talking about calorie deficit or macros triggers you, stop right here, fast forward, or simply get out the video. So my calorie deficit is, I'm pulling out my phone because it's all, I use the fitness app. I've been using it for a very long time and it's easy for me to track my macros my calories and every food I eat it is so easy to use and if you buy food from the groceries or whatever you simply uh, scan the barcode and it would show you all the nutrition facts and how many calories per serving etc so let's look at my on my stuff my calorie deficit is 1,300 for the day and my macros are 30% of carbs 45% of protein and 25% of fat now a little disclaimer I personally don't go by my macros a lot because I never hit those marks so I just have them there for um I have them there to guide me pretty much but I don't really follow that. I go more with my calorie deficit, which again, I don't always hit it. Sometimes I go over if I'm with my family and I'm having a good time. Or sometimes I go a hundred or so lower, which is not good, but sometimes it happens. But yeah, now on to the food. Like I've mentioned in my weight loss journey, I do fast. So I don't eat until 11, 12. Now, before um, eating, I like to drink my water with lemon because it helps your immune system. I mean, it helps your metabolism and it pretty much, it kind of fills me up. And I just think it's very yummy, hot water with lemon. I don't know, call me crazy, but I like it. So after that, when it's about for lunch slash breakfast, breakfast slash lunch, and today, for today's purposes, I've been doing a lot of juices. So in today's juice, it's celery, um, a cup of pineapple, and ginger. And that would break my fast with that. So my child and I, I pretty much eat the same thing. He's not too, too picky. So I don't have to make two different foods. So we eat the same things. He wakes up late. So his eating schedule kind of lands with mine because he's he wakes up late so our breakfast slash, slash lunch was a little yogurt bowl which consists of almond milk yogurt berries strawberries blueberries blackberries raspberries all the berries a little bit of honey I like to also sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds and hemp seeds and that is my beautiful food for the beginning of the day I don't really snack a lot because I feel like if I do I overeat that's just me I don't again I've mentioned before I do not know how to portion it's something I've been working on so for example Cheez-Its I love Cheez-Its the box is only 25 little squares I mean 27 little squares Girl, you know I want to eat the whole box. So I try to stay away from snacking because I love them and I would overeat. Again, something I'm working on. But I recently found out chocolate hummus. I've heard of it before, but I was like, mm, chocolate and beans, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. But I gave it a try with, um, with graham crackers. And I kid you not, you need to try it because that is the best thing I've ever had in my life. 
So that's what I had as a snack. I had the portion, the serving portion of both the hummus and the crackers and it was very delicious. I was very satisfied. And it's a really healthy snacks because the, if I'm not mistaken, the graham crackers for two sheets, it's about 130 calories and the hummus itself per serving, two tablespoons, if I'm not mistaken, it's only 80 calories. And again, you're eating beans, pretty much. I know, right? Love it. <laughs> and last but not least, it's dinner. And at dinner time, um, we decided to keep it light this time. And I was craving pizza. But again, the healthier version. I buy the cauliflower pizza crust and I just make it myself with obviously marinara sauce. I do not get pizza sauce, sometimes I do. But this time we use marinara sauce. I say we, but for me and Lucas, my son, but it's pretty much me making it. So that's what we had. I added mozzarella cheese, a little bit of corn, and for a little bit more protein, a little bit of, of turkey um, lunch meat. And it was very, very yummy. It was delicious. I could eat a whole pizza. And I wouldn't feel guilty because it is healthy and it's not more than 600 calories for a whole pot. But obviously, again, I share this with my son. He eats a lot. So, yeah. That's what happens. So, yeah, guys, this is pretty much what I eat in a day. It's not a lot, again, because I have this little time frame from 12 to 8 or 7 I mean or 11 to 7 and I don't spend the whole day eating I also drink a lot of water I try to drink at least a gallon per day as you have seen on my what I eat in a day or my Amazon favorites where I literally got a gallon water bottle so it can help me keep track of my water Maybe this diet or this lifestyle that I do is not for you because I know people need to eat a lot more and not everybody can fast, but it is what works for me. It helps me um, control my eating intake, if that makes sense. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is not what I eat every day. Sometimes I eat um, meals that are more... Um, loaded if that makes sense i do have fries every now and then i also have all the starchy carbs so don't think that i'm out here eating nothing because i don't and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you try at least the pizza or the chocolate hummus or my little yogurt bowl or even the juices like if you're juicing let me know let me know what you eat down in the comments do you eat more like me or do you try to eat a lot more during your day so yeah guys this is all i have for today i'll see you on the next one bye